Welcome to Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen. I'm Chef Allie and I've been stirring up a love of farm fresh cooking all across my home state of Kansas for over a decade. I enjoy teaching you about food, cooking, and family farms. And from farm to fork, Kansas farmers are always working hard so we can enjoy delicious Kansas raised food. Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen is ready to help you with Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. It's the week of love. That's right. And nothing better. Nothing says love more so than chocolate, strawberries, yes. cream cheese, right? Absolutely. Yeah, and I so. think these are great. I saw these once a uh, caterer was serving them. Uh -huh. So I think it's fun that it, they're really easy. You can make them at home. Yeah. And you're going to show everybody exactly how to do it because it is super easy. But the main thing that makes it super easy, just like you and I were talking about, is using a good quality chocolate. This happens to be Coco Dolce um, Chocolatier chocolate from Wichita. Uh -huh. So it's another great Kansas product. This is a dark chocolate that we're actually using today. So it's a little bit better for us health-wise. More heart healthy. Yeah. So when you're melting chocolate, you can do it over a double broiler if you want to. But that's, in my opinion, way too much work. I I love to melt chocolate in a glass bowl right in the microwave, okay? Yes. Yes. Speaking so, my language. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so what we have to remember is our first blast of heat is 30 seconds, okay? okay? But after that, because we want to make for sure that we don't scorch our chocolate because then it's ruined, mm -hmm. you've wasted your money. We want to do it in a smaller blasts of heat, full power still, but more like 10 to 15 seconds at a time. Do you stir in between? Yes, absolutely, okay. stirring in between. And what we have to keep in mind is dark chocolate takes longer to melt than okay. white chocolate or milk chocolate. So be especially careful if you're doing like those pretzel rods that are dipped in white chocolate. Mm -hmm. They don't take as long. It's much easier to scorch your chocolate if it's milk or white. So what we have here are our strawberries. We did some ahead of time. This is mm -hmm. our cream cheese filling, which is actually just a, a block of cream cheese with powdered sugar and vanilla. My tip for you on this, like I told Amanda, <laughs> please do not try to soften your cream cheese in the microwave because it will never set up. It doesn't matter if you stir in 10 pounds of confectioner's sugar, it is not going to set up. So room temperature, cream cheese, and I'm going to hand that to you okay. in our pastry bag. Because what we're going to do actually is, since we dip these ahead of time, I'll let you go ahead and fill them. But what okay. we're going to do, and look at her go, she's just really good. We've already dipped these strawberries in chocolate, and she is just adding the cream cheese filling. You have to tell people why you do it in this order. Absolutely. Um, when we dip the strawberries into the chocolate and then place them onto the parchment paper, if you wait just a couple minutes, the chocolate hardens on the bottom and it adheres your um, strawberry right to the parchment paper. So as you're putting the filling in, it doesn't wiggle around. That w Those three were so much easier than yes. the one I tried to do when the chocolate Abs was wet. Yeah, and, and so aren't those easy. just a beautiful, and now what you can do if you want to, I never do, but you can put a little bit of um, graham cracker crumbs on top oh, of your nice. cream cheese or if you want to add the little white buttons and make it look like a tuxedo you can mm -hmm. but initially when you start this you're going to take just a whole strawberry and you're going to cut the stem off and then take a small paring knife and just hollow the center out like this to create just a little um, indention or a little hole right there and then the key thing at this point is to take your paper towel and stuff that down into the hole to draw out any moisture mm -hmm. and then dip it you want to dip one in the chocolate and show them how easy yeah. it is to use. So you don't have to, don't worry about going the length of the strawberry nope. when you're Halloween. Half or two thirds, whatever you want, depends on how much chocolate you want to have, you know. But look how nice and easy that is to do with that good quality chocolate. That yeah, you can turn it easy. anyway. Yeah. So set it on there, let it set up, put your filling in, you're good to go. Now, you can't make these too far ahead of time um, because they are going to hold maybe two or three hours, four if you're lucky. So you pretty much have to give these right at the time that you want to give them. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. But okay. I think those are beautiful for Valentine's Day. What sweetheart would not love those? I can't wait <laughs> to have Super easy, them. just a few ingredients. The recipe is at Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen. Mom's every day, and yep. uh, I don't know, we wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. Yes, absolutely. With your sweetheart. Make these <laughs> and impress them. Yes. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we'll be right back. We're the Kansas Farm Food Connection, Kansas farmers and ranchers who are proud to put wholesome and nutritious food on your table. It's our mission to connect farms to families and families to farms through education and firsthand experience. Together, we're raising Kansas.